Welcome everybody to today's Tech Talk on NVIDIA Universe Enterprise. I'm Bob Moore. I'm joined today by a couple of experts from Supermicro. First is Steve Lee from the Workstations Group. Steve, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Bob. Good, good to be here. And the other one is Alok Shavistov. Thanks, thanks Alok, Bob. for being here. Thanks, thanks, Bob. So we're going to talk about this really revolutionary, tremendously powerful application and our hardware that provides the building blocks for that, and that's the NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise. Uh, it's running on both of our workstations as well as our systems, so I want to talk about that, the hardware, but also the capability that we have with that platform, and there are tremendous opportunities in collaboration and also simulation that we can get into, and I'd like you guys to do that, especially when we talk about collaboration and getting multiple different people together from a distributed workforce environment, which we have a lot of today after the pandemic, and having them collaborate together instantaneously on applications that normally might not be uh, working together well, but thanks to this NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise, it can do that, right? So Steve, tell us about that collaboration capability and how it works on your workstation. Absolutely, Bob. Uh, we're actually really excited about NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise. Uh, we believe it is a game-changing solution for the 40 million designers in the world. Um, as you mentioned, NVIDIA Om Omniverse Enterprise is an end-to-end -end collaboration and simulation platform that transforms the design workflow. Um, as you know, the traditional design workflows, those are really complex. And uh, these workflows require teams of engineers, designers, and artists. They each have their own tools, epic systems, and work environments. And uh, these tools often do not work together well. They're not compatible with, with each other. Uh, so there's, that leads to a lot of importing and exporting of a source file, which can cause mistakes, uh, time lost, and uh, models to, to break. With Omniverse Enterprise, uh, engineers, artists, and um, designers in different geolocations uh, with different tools can collaborate on in shared space. Uh, to edit, to track, uh, to view each other's work in real time or asynchronously. Um, you can think about this as a cloud shared document, but, uh, but for 3D designs. The old way of doing this, the traditional way was, you'd have all these people working on an individual design, maybe an architectural drawing, for example. You'd have to check out the drawing, do a little bit of work, check it in. That would then be delayed. No one else could work on it until it was checked back in, and then somebody else could check it out. Then you get problems with revisions and version control and all that stuff. What you're telling me is, thanks to NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise, all that can be done simultaneously and it tracks all those changes collaboratively all at one time across everybody that's working on that same application or the same design or whatever it happens to be, right? Exactly. And the, the beauty of it is people using different uh, applications, they can connect and see each other's work in real time. Sounds perfect. And all that magic takes place right on your workstation here. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this and uh, what the technology is that's inside of it. Uh, sure, uh, sure thing. Uh, we're actually taking Omniverse Enterprise to market uh, with a NVIDIA certified workstation and servers. And uh, for, for the workstations, we currently have three certified workstations. Uh, we want to keep it simple for our customers. So we have in everything ranging from a cost-effective workstation to a high-performance workstation that um, we're showing here today. So this is our highest-performing single-processor workstation uh, based on the AMD Threadripper Pro platform, up to 64 core, 2 terabytes of memory, uh, PCIe Gen 4, and uh, PCIe Gen 4 NVMe uh, U.2 storage, and M.2 storage, and a 10 gigabit LAN. It can support up to four GPUs. Um, so the system is super flexible. Um, you can obviously configure this as a powerful client, local client system for content creation. Or if, a com if you want to deploy this on a rack uh, for a small team of six, uh, we can do that as well. Uh, for example, we can configure this uh, with 64 core of CPU, 256 of gigs of memory, uh, with two NVIDIA A6000 GPU that will essentially give uh, each user, each virtual machine, about roughly 10 to 12 virtual CPU cores, 32 gigs of memory, and up to 16 gigs of uh, frame buffer. Wow, astonishing. That's a lot of performance. And either a tower form factor like this or a rack mount, you said. That's correct. And it's made? It's made in USA, assembled here in our San Jose facility. Nice. 
because you know that's a big key thing for a lot of our customers, supply chain security, and be able to make something in the USA. That's just down a couple blocks from here, right, in our uh, factory that we've got right here in San Jose. Exactly. So, essentially. Uh, you've got actually a few workstations that are certified, right, for NVIDIA? We do. We have three. Three of them. And although we've actually got several systems that are certified as well, right? Yeah, sure. So, you know, just to put things in perspective, at Supermicro, we have one of the largest GP server portfolio in the industry. And in fact, you know, all of our enterprise servers, they are NVIDIA certifieds. Amazing. Yeah. So, Supermicro's got the most, by long shot, of those NVIDIA certified systems than any of our competitors. Yes, so that is true. That's that amazing. is true. Okay. So, we talked about the collaboration opportunity, but I'm interested to hear from you, Alok, on the simulation that we can do with your system using, again, NVIDIA on Reverse Enterprise. Perfect. So Omniverse is a platform for next generation. We can call it, this is for Industry 4.0. And this is a big revelation what is happening now. And um, we, can, we can say that, that, that uh, this change is so big that now it is called revolution. Because it is called fourth industrial revolution, which will be powered by artificial intelligence and 5G. So these 5G is for connectivity and artificial intelligence just to automate everything. And of course, simulation is part of it. So how it is used, how it is used, especially on the manufacturing side. So on manufacturing side, you know, all these three technologies combined together, just like high performance con computing, HPC, uh, visual computing, and artificial intelligence, all these three things put together make this um, technology called Omniverse. And uh, using this technology on simulation part, what you can do, you can create a digital twin of your factory floor. And from that, what you can do, if you created your digital twin, then on that digital twin factory floor, you can train your uh, robots, robot arm, exactly according to your needs. Once that is done, you can download the software of that robot, which is trained exactly according to your needs, and put that software on the real robot, physical robot, on the factory floor. So this is how what you can do you can cut down the, on the learning curve, so there is uh, very little to no learning curve for the robot on the factory floor, and it, it starts working from the day one. So first of all, you save a lot on the, on the training side of the real robot, and this is how it is going to help the industry 4.0. Amazing, so we're actually training the robots using NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise and your system offline yeah. in, in an area not on the factory floor, transferring all that knowledge over to the robots that are actually on the factory floor, which can then take over through the manufacturing process and produce vehicles or whatever it happens to be. Exactly. So, you know, whatever type of training we do for these robots, you know, for that, the infrastructure is needed, a very high-end infrastructure for these modern workloads. And that, at Supermicro, we, we are confident that, you know, we have one of the best infrastructure available to make this technology happen. Well, we've got to take a look at that system then. So here you can see this system. Uh, this is a 4U rack mount system. Intel, it is powered by two uh, Intel CPUs. These are Intel Xeon scalable third generation processors that can go up to 270 watts TDP. Mm -hmm. It has 32 DIMM slots and um, these are all DDR4 memory that can scale up to 8 terabytes of local memory, which is again huge. It has 24 drive bays in the front, you can see. These are all, you know, 2.5 inch drive bays, out of which eight are the yellow ones that are NVMe U.2 drives. Um, and um, it has also two internal drives, M.2 drives, that is for operating system. At the same time, this particular system, it has 12 PCI Gen 4 by 16 slots. So on these PCI Gen 4 by 16 slots, what you can do, this can, you can populate up to 10 double width GPUs on this one. So here, you can see there are two, um, there are two uh, quadro capture cards, which is, you know, the, the maximum that you can put on a system with the, from the guidelines that we get, we, we got from NVIDIA. So based on that, you can put two of these cards and each capture card in turn caters to four accelerators. These are A40s. So what Steve was talking about, that was RTX A6000. So this is exact equivalent of that one, the A40s. So each capture card in turn is connected to four of these A40s. And there are two capture cards. So there are, you know, total eight accelerators on this particular system. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, there are two 
um, two NIC cards also available on, on this one. So these are Connect X6. So this is this can go up to 200, uh, 200 gigabits per second. Wow. Yeah. So with all this, this is a perfect fit for uh, for this type of environment. You are you are getting the most optimized system for uh, Omniverse. It does sound like it's perfectly optimized, and I'm sure our customers that are watching this are going to want to know where they can go to get more information or even buy some of these systems. So let me start with you, Steve, on the workstations. What's the best place for them to go to uh, and find out information or, or maybe purchase that? Uh, yes, at www.supermicro.com slash Omniverse. There's a, a lot more resources, and we have recommended configuration for Omniverse. And how about for this amazing system? A local same place? Same place. Yes. Same place. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Well, guys, this has been some great technology that you've shown us today, some great capabilities. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. Thank you, Bob. Thanks for having us. For more information, please visit us at www.supermicro.com.